As my girlfriend watches my videos, I would like to clearly state that if I was offered an envelope inviting me to a no strings attached sexual encounter, I would obviously and definitely say no. A couple of weeks ago, I got a letter in the mail inviting me to a no strings attached sexual encounter in a hotel room. The beta test is written, directed and stars Jim Cummings and PJ McCabe and it gets its big screen release on the 15th of October. In the beta test, a married Hollywood agent receives a mysterious letter for an anonymous sexual encounter and becomes ensnared in a sinister world of lying, infidelity and digital data? Welcome or welcome back to Game Over Movie Reviews. My name's Peter and this is my movie review of The Beta Test. And my thanks to Witchfinder PR and Blue Finch Film Distribution for the screener for this film. The Beta Test is Jim Cummings' third film in three years after the fantastic Thunder Road from 2018 and the almost as fantastic The Wolf of Snow Hollow from 2020, which I have a review for on this very channel. I make no apologies for this review being a bit of a Jim Cummings loving because the man is a bit of a gem in the filmmaking community. And he's now three for three in making interesting, striking and original films underpinned by his own unique central characters which are played by the man himself. Cummings is also a very open and vocal member of the film community on Twitter, often posting tips for aspiring filmmakers and discussing issues he's had with certain processes and the solutions he found to overcome them. Definitely worth a follow, and he's also liked a few tweets of mine, so he's obviously a man of very good taste. So to the beta test itself, and first in time on tradition, the good stuff. My first positive, and I think I might have mentioned him already, is for Jim Cummings himself, and the central character of Jordan. And my praise is twofold, one for the performance itself, and secondly for the writing of the character. So let's start with the writing. Jordan is another typical Cummings creation, not wholly dissimilar to Jim from Thunder Road and John from The Wolf of Snow Hollow. He's neurotic, self-destructive, struggling with who he should be and how others see him, and most importantly, always a hair's breadth away from exploding. This character turmoil and drama plays perfectly into the plot of the beta test. When Jordan gets this mysterious purple envelope inviting him to a no-strings-attached sexual encounter, this is only going to exacerbate all his worst character traits. Should he go? Should he tell anyone? What will people think of him? And who's behind the sending of these envelopes? It messes with his head, a head which is already extremely volatile. Cummings plays this character so well. It's very close to the leads of his previous two films, but there's a much stronger air of paranoia. And more importantly, for a character always on the edge of self-implosion, he has more to lose, such as a high-paying job, and a seemingly loving fiance. And it's really great watching Cummings flip from super cool to paranoia to corporate bullshit manipulation, often all in the same scene. The character of Jordan is a lot, but for me it's just the right side of being too much. Though no doubt I think it will be too much for some people. The film as a whole comes over like a cross between the amazing TV show Succession in that you're asked to follow characters who are essentially arseholes plus generous sprinkles of Finch's The Game, and I also picked up on touches of a more modern and far less tame take on American Psycho. The score from Jeffrey Campbell Blinner and Ben Lovett really caught my ear, and it also adds this sense of paranoia and growing sense of stress. My screener had subtitles, which annoyingly you couldn't turn off, but every time some of the music played, the subtitles said, ominous music plays, which... I think is a very good summary. How many times do you think I'll have said Jim Cummings by the end of this review? And of course, the most important question, would you accept this mysterious invitation? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely hide the comment if you say yes. And a mysterious invitation from myself. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll promise not to make it weird. Well, maybe. So we do have a few issues with the beats test. The beats test is thematically strong, focusing on corporate bullshit, and more specifically, the superficiality of movie agents. As with all of Cummings' films, the beta test looks at masculinity and specifically here, what it means to be a powerful and popular man in the 2020s and the fragility, pretense and outright nonsense that comes with all that. As usual, these Cummings creations are wanting to be one thing but internally falling apart through the strain of constantly wearing these masks, which is something I think a lot of us can identify with. There's also a strong theme of the mundanity and total control that social media has on our lives, 
particularly how much these massive companies know about us all. It's great that the film has this thematic depth, but I'm talking about it in this section of the review as I feel that the beta test takes on a bit too much in its relatively short 93 minute runtime. Along with the stresses of the main character, this does make the film feel a little heavy. This is also compounded in the fact that this is much less comedic than Thunder Road and The Wolf of Snow Hollow. There are funny moments, but this is definitely the darkest of Jim Cummings films. But I think my biggest drawback of the beta test is that I found Jordan to be almost completely unsympathetic as a central character. I personally connected with him in a very broad sense on that imposter syndrome level, but he is essentially a selfish arsehole who is difficult to identify with on a human level. This is fine and almost certainly intentional, but I just connected less with this character's internal struggles and therefore the story as a whole. In summary, The Beast Test is an interesting, unique and successful film from Jim Cummings and PJ McCabe. It's tightly paced and edited with a vastly complex central character who pulls you into his mind, his world and the mystery which has engulfed him. This is a seedy, murky and stress-inducing story which suffers a little due to having an unsympathetic character and a lot of thematic baggage. I do get the sense that this film will grow in my head and on repeated watches, but for now, my score for the beta test, 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Game over, man. It's game over.